So just another quick video about Virtual D-Day 2021 in the latest version, which is built 7151 at the time of this recording, and I've labeled it even more shaders. And uh, that's because this video is really about uh, the new uh, shader feature in the latest version, which is adding thumbnails to the shader so that they're easier to find and select, and also stores it in a new format so you can actually ha have these thumbnails and are not really part of the original shader definition. Um, now, I did a video earlier that also had, was called something like Lots of Shaders, and I'll link that in the video description. That was from the, for the old uh, format, and so it has a, a lot of shaders too. So uh, it has a lot of information on how to add them and how to work with them and stuff, more than this video will have. So maybe go watch, watch that one first. A uh, link for that one will be in the video description. But this is about a new format with the thumbnails. And uh, these have been collected and compiled and checked for thumbnails and stuff by John Howard, who's a, who's a, a, a very common uh, user on the Virtual DJ forum uh, in, uh, and in the, the Facebook group. So you can go say hi to John there. So a huge thanks to John uh, for helping with this stuff. So uh, like I said, there'll be links for these 32 and 64-bit versions in the video description. But if nothing happens, happens when you click the links, uh, then it's because of security on your laptop. Then you can just uh, you can just copy the links into your browser and start the the download that way. Uh, other than that, it's basically uh, a lot like the last version uh, of my video. But uh, let me just go through it really quick. So uh, the th the two shader files when you open them are two zip files, and they'll be full of shaders. So they're all here, and now they're called. VDJ shader instead of in the old day format, it was just called that shader. So uh, these are basically all the shader files. The same over here for the 64 bit version. This uh, says 32, 32, right? So way down at the bottom, there's also one more file. That's an XML document, shaderlist.xml, and that's the one that has all the folders. So we, if you go into Visual DJ just to check what the end result is going to be, because I already copied these. Then I go into video and I go in and click shader and I get all these shaders, right? And I can now have, they all have thumbnails so I can actually see them and I can click them. So uh, I know what I'm selecting. They also have all these groups that you can choose to also, also incorporate. You do that by including the XML, fi XML file. And if you don't include the XML file, then the, the, uh, the folders won't be there. So that's basically uh, the end result. You can, another new feature is that you can resize this if you like. So, uh, so what do you have to do? Well, there's a little bit of work. So let me just uh, show that really quick. It's also in the other video. So if you have these, and you have your virtual DJ folder here. Let me just get rid of this. So we have the virtual DJ folder also, and we have for instance, the 64-bit version, which I'm currently running. Then you go into Documents, Virtual DJ, and then you go into Plugins. But there are going to be two plugin folders. One for the 32-bit version, which is not labeled anything, but that's one for a 64-bit version. And that's why we're going for the 64-bit version. So I'm just going there. And then the Visualizations folder in here is where all the shader files are going to be. And as you can see, I've already copied all these in there. So basically, that's what you want to do when you get to it. You go to the correct folder here, 32, a 64-bit version. Then you probably want to remove all, every, all the shaders you already have. Remember, they're labeled .shader instead, uh, because those, those won't be compiled for the new version. They won't have thumbnails and stuff like that. So of course, if you downloaded some that you want to keep, you should go into the shaders here, right-click some of the stuff, and say recompile, or maybe even re-download, and that'll give you kind of the same thing as what this does. But if you don't have a lot of shaders that you want to keep, you can simply remove all the .shader files and then simply drag all these new ones in there to get them right. I've already done this, so now we need to do that. And like I said just before, this one is important because if you put that in there and overwrite, then uh, then you won't have your old fold own folders if you already created that. You will have this folders that comes with the John's collections here, right? But if you do that, if you copy all that, that in, um, then uh, then you should basically be ready to go. So the next time you open uh, Visual DJ and go into this 
the shader settings, you will have all these shaders now, and you will have them all with thumbnails, so you can see what you're about to click. And there are about 700 of them now in this collection, so that's about twice as many as in the last collection I, I gave. And it's, of course, all thanks to John. Really quick, uh, just let me go into the 32-bit uh, version as well. So this one. And you see, it also has shaders, and it's basically the same ones. And I also have all these uh, thumbnails now, also in a 32-bit version. And like I said, if you're a Mac user, Keep an eye out because maybe I think maybe someone's going to make a collection for Mac. Uh, if they do, I'll also hook that and then put that in the video description. So that's all about the new shaders that also has the thumbnails.